Hi, today I want to solder th those little guys which are thermal cutoff fuses and they are really handy if you want to protect your circuit from overheating so you basically just build them in your circuit and once uh, in case your application reads a certain temperature they will cut off the, uh, the current so you can use those to protect and um, this one I bought is up to it, it goes at 77 degrees I'm not sure if you can see that but uh, the problem with those is that when you want to attach some leads to them um, basically solder something onto them then your iron puts about uh, 250 to 300 degrees on this fuse so that would risk actually go that uh, fuse blows without uh, you actually having used it yet so um, today I'm going to show you how I soldered this guy and basically attach some leads to them without um, uh, blowing the fuse so and the trick is basically to keep them uh, as cool as possible when you're soldering so for that I'm using uh, water and I've also submer submerged this uh, alligator clip here which is also in water, which takes the heat from the iron away before it can reach the center of the fuse. So let's get started. Just make some space here. And I'll put it in the alligator clip like that. And you see the entire fuse is submerged in water and basically is kept cold. So, and I set my iron on about 300 degrees. And then I can go and solder this guy first. Just uh, put some solder on there. Like that. And then the lead. And then we can start to solder that one. Come on. There we go. Done. And now the cable is attached and soldered and the fuse should still be intact. So let's test that with our multimeter. And let's see. Yep, still works. So there you go, that's how you attach a lead to a thermal fuse.